this. Welcome Clutch Cut Crew to another Clutch Cut Vlog. Today I'm gonna show you what it's like to go to a movie inside a pandemic. This is the first time I've gone to a theater since January. I got two people going with me. Ahmed and Kyle, how you boys doing? What's up guys? Hey, pretty good. I'm Ahmed. He, yes. That's Kyle. <laughs> yeah, what? I had no idea, bro. I, know, I'm just, I just know you forget. You're so famous. You know? Ahmed, you were telling me that there's all these precautions because of, you know, what's going on. Yeah. So, uh, what are, what are they doing to... Sorry, that was a good interception. Oh, that was an interception. Uh, we're watching the Saints and Raiders game here. But uh, what are some of the precautions they're taking at the theater? Uh, only groups of two at a time can be seated. And within those group of twos, you get basically two seats on either side, depending on where you chose. They'll be blocked out. So yeah. no one can sit next to you, literally, so you can... Besides the person you went with. Yeah. All right. So only the two people who want Makes went me together, feel stay together. a little safer. So I don't know what you guys use, but we are going to be going to a Cinemark, and this is how it looks on their app. You can tell this is like the two seat separation that Ahmed's talking about. There's three of us today. So we're gonna go right there, right there, and in front of us. And we'll see what it looks like when we're there in person, but that's how it looks on their app. The first thing I said was, I'm constantly in pain. Why is that, Ahmed? Life is pain. <laughs> just, Kyle, in your second- I got you, man, I like, got you. He thinks about me, and I don't know what to say. <laughs> Do you want your tortilla? You make your tortilla. I'll right give now. you the tortilla if you make this into the can. Oh, guaranteed. Are you ready for this? <laughs> yeah. Let's go. Go ahead. Hey, no. <laughs> you never once said he has to throw it in. Yeah, you never said you to never throw said it. So. That. <laughs> he figured out a loophole. I'll give that to him. Yeah, the lady was hitting on Ahmed. Oh, yeah? So, yeah. Oh my gosh, he did like you. What, <laughs> say, what is you, this? <laughs> Chipotle before the movie, and I want you to tell me who has the best Chipotle order here. I got a bowl, chicken, guac, cheese, queso, and mild salsa. What do you got, Kyle? All right, so I have a bowl. I have half carnitas, half chicken, uh, brown, no, pinto beans, brown rice, cheese, guac, mild, and that's it. It looks right now like a pile of lettuce. <laughs> it is delicious. Ahmed, here order. I got corn, lettuce, cheese, guac, Chicken, mild salsa, because I ain't about that spice life out tonight. Uh, uh, and then sour cream. And sour cream, yeah. okay. Who has the best Chipotle order? Oh my God, oh my, we pretty much like almost got the same order. Kyle also does this, which I don't understand. It's a Chipotle hack, that's why. So technically you kind of get like more food with a bowl, but I still like in tortilla kind of format. So that's why I always ask for tortilla on the side and it costs nothing. But they're so messy. The open so? book format. <laughs> Your point. We're about to head to the theater right now. And I got to ask this before we get there. What's the last movie you guys saw? <laughs> in a theater, not like at home. For me, it was Sonic. Uh, meow? Which was in February. It's yeah, been a long Sonic. time. Same for you? Yeah, that was the last yeah, time I watched it. Yeah, same for me too. Okay, yeah. I think that was wow. the time we all saw it together, mm -hmm. which my goodness, that was an experience in, in itself. February, oh damn. You will have to have a mask. We already know that. We were sitting at a table by ourselves right there. That's why we didn't have them on but we will be wearing these inside and you actually don't have to have them once you're sat down, right? I don't think so. Hmm. I don't know if we're gonna find any parking. Uh, we might as well just give up and go home, guys. There's, yeah. no, there's no parking available, Long obviously. Long time over. Jeez, just man. Just the L for the day. People are really coming out to see the movies today. Let's check the next lane. Yeah, we this have This might to. be a little better. Oh my uh, God. Even more oh, God. Come on. This is worse, bro. Are you serious right <laughs> Pride oh parking. Oh my God. We're literally right there to the stairs. Oh my God. Kyle, show us how far you have to walk to get to the stairs. Okay, okay, prepare for a long ass segment, guys. You ready for this? All right, hold on, gonna do a little stretching first. Just sure. Don't, <laughs> Don't wanna hurt anything. yourself. Exactly, ready? <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wow. wow, that took forever. It did. That how are you gonna have these cars here and not take the most prime spot? Fine by me. I have my mask. So do Kyle and Ahmed. We are all masked up. Cinemark Rewards? <laughs> I love that guy. I don't think I said what movie we're seeing. Uh, we're seeing New Mutants. We're seeing Titanic too. <laughs> the oh. Death of Ink. <laughs> Anyways, New Mutants is like the last X-Men movie in the franchise of Fox. It doesn't have like any of the X-Men characters you already know. But it's a superhero movie and it's supposed to be a scary superhero movie. So. 
are you now? I'm scared of movies. I'm scary, scary, scary. <laughs> so the theater is very empty right now. We got our tickets. We bought them on our phone. Oh, Pretty simple. Right. It's only five bucks. Is it really? Look at that. The popcorn large top is only five bucks. What, what, dude? I never thought I would see the day. Hold on, take a picture of this. It's amazing. Your prices are so low. My God. <laughs> you guys want to get a large tub? Isn't that what I'm getting? I think it's Oh, that's what I'm getting too. So I don't know if you guys heard. Kyle, how much is that that you're holding? Four bucks. This is four dollars right now. I'm getting a large drink, which is three fifty, and candy's two dollars. Two dollars. Kyle's popcorn and icy. Five dollars. <laughs> the prices are down right now. I think because of COVID, they're trying to draw people in still. Am I right? Yeah. yeah. Um, it says yeah, so it must be true. All right, we're in now. They don't have any signs that tell you to sit away. It's just common courtesy, right? Exactly. And like we said, we can lower our mask once we've sat down. Yeah, we, I feel good. I feel safe. I felt a little cautious thinking of the idea, but it feels all right right now. You said they spray it down after every movie, right? Yeah. yeah. Ahmed knows all the inside facts. I won't tell you how, but he does. Ahmed, I hate to put walls between us, but I like my armrest. After 18 years, you're still building walls between us. Yeah. I'm moving on to better people. I did. Like Kyle. I didn't know the conversation, but yeah, let's go. <laughs> Two hours later. All right, we just got out of the movie, and I feel like I should mention this too. They also have disinfectant wipes all over the place, and an on it. Just kidding. Hand sanitizer. They're pretty much everywhere. They're staying disinfected. They're staying clean. Movies, theaters, I'd say feel safe. At least Cinemark. Yeah. yeah. Oh man, I'm so not ready for this long walk to my car. Oh my God. All right, you can do it. I don't know if I can make it, man. Okay, the movie is over. I promise you we are the only ones here right now. So I'm taking off my mask. I haven't done this in such a long time. Come on in, fellas. It's out of five, for those of you that don't remember. It's been a long time, a very long time. Yep. Okay, maybe, are, are we wearing our masks? Is this what we're doing? Uh, I want to promote good health. Yeah, the rating. I am going to give this movie a 4.5 out of five. It was way better than I expected. I'm gonna give you some backstory on this movie after the rating. Who wants to go next? You. I'll go next, all right. All right, for my rating. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5. It's my favorite X-Men movie I've ever watched. I've never really liked X-Men. It was my least favorite Marvel series. But yeah, this one took the kick. I loved everything about it. So anyway, so for me, I'm going to rate it around a 3.5 out of 5. I thought it was better than average, but I didn't think it was great. Um, but explain the reasons why you like this movie again. It doesn't take too long to explain anything. It's like, hey, sad backstory. He had to come through it. Wah. Okay, next person, you. Sad backstory. Oh my god, a little bit sadder than the next person. I'm sad. Wah. You. Okay, what's up? What we're gonna do? Why we're gonna do it? All right, let's go. All right, I told you I would tell you the story behind New Mutants, and of course, Wikipedia describes it perfectly. The New Mutants is a 2020 American horror film in the superhero genre. Distributed by 20th Century Studios, which is Fox, you saw that pop up really quick. It is the 13th and final installment in the X-Men film series. Really had nothing to do with any of the previous X-Men movies. Boone and Lee first began to work on the film after Boone completed Fault in Our Stars in 2014. So the same guy that worked on Fallen Our Stars worked on this horror X-Men movie. The pair pitched a potential film trilogy. Oh, trilogy? Well, hate to burst your bubble, but uh, that ain't gonna happen. To X-Men producer Simon Kimberg in May 2015. So this movie has been thought of and been trying to get the wheels spinning since 2015. That's not even the end of it. Look at this. Filming took place in Boston, Massachusetts. Well, that makes sense because the building they show in the trailer is made of brick and everything in Boston is brick. Anyways, they started filming from July to September of 2017. They filmed this in 2017 and they were looking for an April release date in 2018. That is when this movie was originally supposed to come out and it was delayed while reshoots were planned and Disney began the process of acquiring Fox. That did go through if you did not know that. After the acquisition was completed, Boone returned to work on the film and it was completed without reshoots in March 2020 took so long, so much happened to get this film going, and it finally came out in 2020. Finally, The New Mutants was theatrically released in the United States on August 28, 2020, after they were aiming for April of 2018. 
That is insane. And yeah, like we rated it and like we said, it was a pretty good movie, pretty decent. And you guys probably know some of the actors. Macy Williams, she's in Game of Thrones. I'm sure anybody that watches that show knows who she is. Anya Taylor-Joy, who personally I thought was the best character in this movie, was the main character in Split, which is also a very good movie. Charlie Heaton, some of you might recognize him from Stranger Things. Terrible news was just told to me right now as I was filming this. Check this out. We will not be seeing Black Widow this year. This really sucks. It had already been pushed back till November and now they're saying summer 2021. Are you serious? Hey, and Robert Downey Jr. is in the cast? Interesting after what happened in Endgame. But yeah, it looks like they're pushing back all their movies because that's how the MCU works. It's one huge storyline with all these different movies. However, it looks like we're getting WandaVision at the end of the year. I'm excited that we actually get some kind of content from Marvel. And if you made it to the end of this video, tell me your favorite superhero in the comments down below. Like the video, subscribe, tell your mom, your dad, your grandma, grandpa, your pets, your friends, your brother, your sister, everybody you know to subscribe if they haven't already. I got this and I will see you next time.